Yo, Yoda, ladies and gentlemen. We're finally starting our new series. I recently finished Sons of the Forest, and now we are starting our brand new series on uh, Atomic Heart. Very, very excited to check this game out and see if it's as fun as the trailers made it look. I'm very, very excited to play. My brother told me it's a very, very fun game. What the fuck? All right. We're going to make sure. Yep, full screen. All right. Uh, English, yes. Okay, just making sure it was already in English. All right, guys, here we go. We're already starting. What does that mean? I don't even care. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this. Very, very excited to finally play this game. It has been, uh, it was my second most wanted to play game on my list after Sons of the Forest. Sons of the Forest, though, has been my top game ever since Trailer 2 released. So it just feels weird to remove it. All right, here we go. Whoa. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Oh, I've never been here before, but this is this this is not how I expected it to start. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> wow. Oh shit. Sorry, I bumped into my microphone. Oh shit, it's a robot. Oh shit, this is an old city. I'm pretty sure this takes place in like a futuristic like 1950s. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. All right, I'm going to try one more thing real fast. Image uh audio English art oh, wait art subtitles okay I don't know why it's not making the subtitles in English because I can already tell that is not English but fuck it I don't even care would you care for some more soda comrade uh how do I accept <laughs> Sure. Sure, thanks. <laughs> this is fun. Thanks, little robot flying machine. I'm just happy to be off that island. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Oh. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, hey, robot. Did you see that robot? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this wow. game. It's beautiful. Oh, and the game speaks for itself. Oh, is that a pig? Sorry, it's just right after playing Sons of the Forest, this doesn't feel anything like that game at all. Not even close. So it just feels kind of weird. They're handing each other boxes. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. I think I recognize that old lady from the trailer. That's his mom. Okay then. Get to work, you bums. Move it. Move it. Oh, you did it. Oh, thanks a million. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was loud. Whoa! That's a big one. Good morning, my boy. What How the? Are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Doctor Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. 
It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechnov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. I like the voice acting. <laughs> oh, hey, that robot's juggling. Huh? You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. All right, I think I'm finally going to be able to move. You dickhead. Yeah, you dickhead. <laughs> I just, I'm so happy that this and Sons of the Forest came out so close to each other because it allowed me to be able to have two different games that I see because you know how I usually just wait. Okay, uh, whoa, okay. Game saved. Residents and facility guests. The address by the is it just me or is it making you think of Bioshock? Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. Ha! <laughs> the game's making me think of Bioshock. Don't judge. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I can talk to this guy. Comrade, come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuro connector right away. At the moment, the device functions. Man, with all these subtitles, it's kind of annoying. But it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Go right ahead. <laughs> uh. All right then. This is so cool. Do I get to pick it? Because I think I'm gonna go green. Oh man, I'm going pink. Actually, I think I would actually go blue. Green and blue have always been my favorite kind of colors. Whoa. What's happening? <clears throat> What's happening? Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. Oh, oh, okay. I do apologize. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> hey, you. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead. Since you're so special, what the heck is that? How special I am soon enough, but you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting official librarian and educational system. I'll call you whatever I feel like. Glove, hi, a copy of the facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Ugh. So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just <laughs> developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking, as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electronics. Dude, she's freaking me out. 
They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. <laughs> uh, we're going to ask this last question. What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. Uh, <laughs> what the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, our newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter. But it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun already. This game is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's English up there. All right. Uh... Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. All right. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Okay, uh, where am I going? Oh, oh, I was so confused. I thought it was telling me to walk up there. This game is so gorgeous. I love it so much. Oh, look, it's that weird circle bot. Comrades, the day will come when all the planets of the we solar system the the most all distant have artificial stars. atmospheres and right capable now, of supporting we are taking our life. first step on this historic journey. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. All right, here we go. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. It's just going to be like the skill menu. Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics. Or learn to play the piano. With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me. Of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. All right, I'm pretty sure this is how you heal. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. What the? Little tentacles. Oh, that's cool. What the heck? That was cool. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system. Especially your eyes, polymer retina. Okay. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, 
except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Okay. <coughs> Hold uh, alt to activate scanner. Demon, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> For your what information, the that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking. Wait. Sign me up. Didn't you say you no, okay. were in just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. All right, that was odd. <laughs> so, uh... <clears throat> there's going to be multiple different times when I forget the controls and crap. Holy crap. Okay, uh, here we go. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenoff, is about to begin. Wow, this game is so cool looking. Greetings, comrades. I am Dimitri Sechenoff. Repent, sinners. <laughs> In the history of mankind, we find ourselves report to the lobby of that high steps away from an amazing I'm about to turn the subtitles off because it's not in sync. Change the world as we know it. I wish I could read that. Hold on a second. All right, I was just curious if maybe I could, but it doesn't look like I can change that. And how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. He's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. Alright, I had already forgot how to use that stinking move. Alright, here we are. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Yeah, it is. Alright. Uh. Oh, we're going up. I was so confused. Right. Sorry I keep doing that. I'm just trying to make sure I remember the controls. Alright, I don't know what the heck just happened. Sorry for all the cuts. I'm just trying to make sure everything is working. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. Mm -hmm. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents. Oh, it's slowing down. Oh, here we are. We'll replace every single one of them. And so much more. All right. Where does this one go? Okay. All right, here we go. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. Whoa. Boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. All righty. <laughs> Thank Got you, it. robots. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ask? Oh, 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 we're, we're leaving. Oh, okay. Bop. Can I sit? No, oh, okay. Get in the turbine. I is this the turbine? Off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, 
What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Okay. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First. Oh, he said one day we'll reach the stars because the moon landing was in 1969 and this game takes place in 1954 or 5. I don't really remember. Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Yeah, so according to the timeline, Apollo never landed on the moon yet. Alrighty. Get in the turbine. Alrighty. What's the turbine? This is not how I expected it to start off. Alrighty. Hello, turbine. What the heck? That was weird. Beep. Do I get to drive? Oh, hello. <coughs> Secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Okay, thank you. What the heck are you doing? Am I flying? Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of collective... Oh, it's it's that robot! Yeah, it came from in every I get it. City. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from the that. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozios. How about some music? Do -do 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 -do. Like eh, not my taste. Not bad, though. <laughs> Whoa. We're on like a floating city. All right, I'm assuming I'm just waiting. I see you finally oh. begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stadtdauer. <laughs> <laughs> already filled me in. That was funny. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Good flying point. Pigs. Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. Oh gosh. Major. Why don't you worry about your mission and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never All seen of it. Before. Zip it. What? 
How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. All right, Charles, don't sweat it. <sighs> this game is gorgeous. Just trying to wait and see what happens. It's getting real foggy. What the hell? Well, I hope that robot has like motion detection. Yeah. Yeah. We rocking in downtown. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. We rock. Yeah. We're doing this. Yeah. This yeah. is facility oh. 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Alrighty. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. Thank you for the weather. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. Alrighty. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by well, that thing looks weird. Oh, node. A plan such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to a hundred orders per hour. Whoa, holy shit, that thing almost ran into us. That thing's got a red thing attached to it, like a ribbon. It is so hot in my room right now. Below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center. The main radio processing unit Whoa. and control nexus for this. It's the fat bots mode. from the trailer. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. Alrighty. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Lena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected... The map's not actually this big, is it? ...the collective 1.0 neural network, with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Alrighty. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. All right. What the, what the? Major. Petrovas initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating Wait, what? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? What the ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Did it shoot us down? Ah! Oh shit! Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. Thank you. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, no. 
Oh no! What the hell are you doing, you lousy bot? Get the heck away from me! That was really very rude of them. <laughs> oh shit. Oh boy. Get out! Oh no! That's why is that one nice? Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to. Son of a bitch, not again. Whoa, what's wrong? Oh, hi. Oh, help me, comrade major. I'm falling. I'll save you! Oh, never mind! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh! Atomic Heart. Man, that was a long intro. <sighs> but I think we're finally going to be getting into some action now. Oh, gosh. My character doesn't sound anything like what he sounded like in the trailers, and he also doesn't look like what he sounds like. Hello? Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh shit, my head's killing me. Well, no shit, you just fell out of a car. A flying one. Oh boy. I think I see my first weapon right there in the ground. Oh, cool! Oh, cool! I hope I can do that, like, in mid-battle, so it's like I throw it, and then I run, and then I use my magneticness to... Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, how are you? All right, my boy. I'm okay, boss. Uh, how do, the what's the... the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's Sorry, I keep on, forgetting the buttons. A while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor. Who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused Are those chickens? Whoa. to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access code. Ah! I'm sorry, pig! <laughs> is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. <laughs> the target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. Hey, I, I can see, okay? Hold on, am I holding the... Am I not holding the right button or something? Why is that still on the screen? Okay. Looks like things are getting kind of crazy. Whoa! I've swum through polymer plenty of times and I haven't tried... Ah! Of robot! Evil robot! Oh gosh! Can I block? Oh. Ha! Ha! Ha ha! Die, robot bitches! Oh shit! G -g -g um. Ha! Go fuck yourself! Oh, I can collect stuff from them? Oh, cool! Can I do it to all of them? Okay, uh... What? Is there another one? I don't know. Okay, there's not a run button, it just lets me do this dash. What? What? Whoa! Holy shit! Hey, 
glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. I'm sorry, Cal. Oh, it attacked me! Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Come on! Anybody! I can't breathe! I'm coming, I'm coming! What the hell? Hello? Ah! You betrayer! Is that shit? What's it doing? It's trying to... It's trying to give me a swirly! Oh shit! Oh, go fuck yourself! Yeah! What he said! Get the fuck off me! Whoa! Someone save me! Oh, it's that old woman! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there! Give me a hand! Oh, I didn't see that coming. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. <sighs> Granny Zena? What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... Dead meat. Already? I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit. Oh gosh. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. Okay. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. What's happening? Hell of an arsenal there, lady. Oh hell yeah, you do. Here we go. Oh shiz! Two days now. Take that. This is chaotic Take attack. Skynet strikes again. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. All right. That is one heck of a granny. Oh no. Holy shit. Ah! Circle bot. Oh no. I'm falling. Oh no. I'm going to die. 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 I'm gonna die. Is this the end? After so long? Holy shit, I'm going deep. Oh boy. Holy crap. Is it stopping? Whoa. Oh, that's a cool lighter. Smoke some weed and then let's get on oh, with our goddamn clusterfuck. Oh wow. What is that? Welcome to the Vavilov complex, named after the great Soviet botanist. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. 
Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Victor Petrov oh. was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. What the heck is that for? What the heck? This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Oh, Peter cool. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in. Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away. I've got a grenade. Hey, lady. This is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster. No, listen to me. I'm here. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hey, hey. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, boy. We have entered some crazy shit, guys. Oh gosh, I didn't think that was going to do anything. Ah! What happened? Oh shit! Enemies can perform power attacks to knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge it. Upon seeing, press left shit. Yeah, okay, this is about dodging. Yeah! Whoa, shit! May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are yeah. dangerous. Yeah! Knock you down. Yeah! Yeah! Ha-ha! Go fuck it! Long. That first part really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Okay. Uh That is a really cool way to heal. Collect other resources you find along the way, Major. Wait a minute, hold on. Welcome. Oh, okay. So I I can look at it. Okay, yeah. There's that uh that that and oh, hold on. That and that. Okay, y'all can read that if you want. Back, 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 back. Oh, off. Okay, there. Okay. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items. Oh, cool. Now I have a shotgun. How do I equip it? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink nice. items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. All right, well, since I don't have any ammo with that, I think I'm going to go back to the axe for now. Hello, sir. What a weird way to search. What is that? Nice. Okay, uh... No, fuck that. Oh, Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything. And you can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Listen here, either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later, and somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <coughs> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, I, I, I failed. Damn it! 
I'm so bad at the dodging. Ah! Okay, uh, stealth attack. That's freaking cool. I actually did not expect that to be in the game. Okay. I was not expecting stealth attacks. All right. Golly, this is pure chaos in such little time. Okay, well now I got two shots with this. All right, uh... All right, here we go. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. What the... Uh... What the... Oh, cool. Uh... Uh... I don't know. I'm kinda confused. Alright, fuck that. That's annoying the shit out of me. Anyway, uh... This is where the game, the video is actually going to end, guys. I really hope, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode of Atomic Heart, and I cannot wait to continue. Peace out.